G'day mates, hope you're having a ripper day. Today I'm gonna to show you how you can access 80% more CPAP therapy data directly on your CPAP machine by changing one little setting. It'll take you 30 seconds. All right, let's do it. Now we'll start with the AirSense 10 and straight out of the box, factory settings. The sleep report is very basic. Not much information at all. Let's check it out. Here it is. We have usage hours and Marseille. That's it. However, there's a secret little menu, which I'll show you now, where you can enable plus, more advanced CPAP therapy information. So to do this, we go to My Options, and then we click and hold down the click wheel plus the Home button at the bottom simultaneously. Hold them down, and that enables the Clinician menu. And then we click Settings, rotate the dial down to Essentials, here it is. And you can see here, it says Essentials on. Click in the click wheel and change that to plus, plus information. All right, and then rotate the dial back up to the top, to home, and then exit clinical menu. And now, let's check out the sleep report. Look, lots more information, we've got usage hours, events per hour, that wasn't there before, our Marseille information, and we can keep going down, check this out. We can change the time frame here from period, one week, one day, one month, three months, six months, whatever we like. And we've got days use, days four hours plus, average usage, used hours, pressure, leak, AHI, total apnea index, central apnea index. I'm not gonna go through what they all mean today. I've done plenty of videos on this. If you wanna watch one, Click the link above, all right? I just wanna show you how to get in there and access 80% more data. Now we can do the same thing on the AirSense 11. However, accessing that secret menu is a little different. So I'll show you that now. And I'm gonna show you on my deconstructed AirSense 11 because I've been stuffing around with it and I can't be bothered putting it back together. Here it is here. All right, let's fire her up. So right now, if I check my sleep view, you can see once again, I've got usage and mask. We'll go back to home. Now we're just going to access the clinical menu and to do so just press and hold down anywhere on the screen with two fingers simultaneously. There we go, clinical home. And we'll go into the settings. Swipe up. And here it says patient view. Tap patient view. You can see currently simple is selected. We're gonna select advanced. Okay. And then home up the top. Oh, what have I done there? Oh, there we go. Exit. And now when I tap my sleep view, a lot more information, let's check it out. We've got used hour pressure information, leak information, apnea hypopnea index, total apnea index, obstructive apnea index, central apnea index. And we can also tap this extended period menu option here. And we've got more information. How good is that? Okay, over a larger time frame. I think it's 12 months, is it? Yeah, 12 month averages here. All right. There you go, pretty easy, hey? Now, even with the advanced reporting mode enabled, that's only around 10% of the wonderful information that's available. These devices are incredible. There's just so much information. They capture every single breath you take in high resolution. Every breath, every apnea, you can see it. It's just ResMed doesn't enable it for the patients. They only enable 10% through the CPAP machines and through the My Ass app. With clinicians and physicians, they enable 60 to 70% of the information, right? Physicians still can't even see the breath by breath information. They're flying blind, they have no idea what's going on. But with sleephq.com, you get 
full access, 100%. There is nothing more we can give you and it's free to use. So to finish up, here's a quick video demonstrating just how easy it is to upload your SD card information to the Sleep HQ Cloud so you can access it on any device anywhere in the world. You can generate reports, track your therapy trends and so much more. Cheers. On your marks, get set. Let's go. Visit sleephq.com and create a free account. Put in your email, create a password, click sign up, put in your name and your time zone, click next. What's this stupid thing? Piss off Google. Go to data import, choose AirSense 11, SD card machine, add your machine and into your laptop or your computer or your phone and then we'll drag and drop the files from the SD card into the import section, begin upload. And now hopefully you've got a fast internet speed. It's looking good. 87%, 93, upload complete. Processing. Come on, baby. Process, baby, come on. 1%, yes, 29%. Come on, baby. Seven seconds, six, five, four, three, two, one, complete, yes! Here we are. And we're done and we can zoom in right here. There it is. Every breath, every apnea, right there in high definition in under one minute. <sighs> that was a close call. Now that's a manual upload. If you like, we do have the Sleep HQ Magic Uploader and this will automatically upload all your CPAP data, every breath you take, every 10 minutes without you doing a thing. Now, if you've never done a Sleep HQ upload before, you might have years of data on your SD card, gigabytes. So it might take a little bit longer than one minute to upload your first upload, but every future upload after that will be a lot quicker because we skip all those previous files and only upload the new information. Thanks for watching guys, sleep well, look after your mates, and I'll see you soon, cheers. G'day mates, this video is sponsored by Sleep HQ. Upload, review, and share your detailed CPAP reports with anyone from anywhere. Visit sleephq.com and join our free community today.